uh, as former manager of Newcastle United, how pleasing was it to see the Magpies qualify for the Champions League last yeah, night? They've had a remarkable season. You know, the job that Eddie Howe has done has been fantastic. Um, they've played a brand of football, which has been exciting. You know, I think we've got early signs of that when they went to Liverpool early in the season where they said to Liverpool, right, we're going to try and outgun you here, end up losing late in that game but they've been an absolute delight to watch uh, and what Eddie's done with the likes of Almiron um, Joe Linton you know he's made players that were a serious doubt whether they could cope with the Premier League into really good players in our league so upwards and onwards for them uh, it's been it's, it's just been a complete turnaround for them and I think you know if you ask any Newcastle fan they'll be just enjoying life so much you know, I've worked up there. It's a very passionate place. It's a it's a big football club. So for them, the future is looking extremely extremely bright. Um, obviously, he took them from you know relegation candidates last year, Champions League this mm. year. Also reached the League Cup final. Would mm. you say? And I thought they were the best team in the League Cup final. Yeah, and um, between the boxes. Would you say? He's got to be you know within with a strong shout for manager of the season. I would have thought so. You know. You know Pep's done remarkable things and their season's not yet over. Um, it could be an incredible season, but he's working with a, you know, a group of players that are serial winners. That's expected of them to challenge for the big trophies. I don't think any, anyone from Newcastle or anyone who looked at our football thought Newcastle would be in the top four this year. But they're on merit. Not just, they've not played a, a brand of football that's been nicking games. They've been playing a brand of football that's been entertaining and they go out to, to outscore you, which makes it a great watch. Obviously, uh, your other f- fellow club, Liverpool, um, just sitting outside the Champions League places with one match left. They could obviously still do it, but it's looking quite unlikely. Um, would you say that may hinder their sort of transfer plans? Come I, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, obviously the result against Aston Villa was disappointing for them, but Villa are a good team at this time. Um, I don't think if you get a chance to join Liverpool, Unless you're one of the giants out there like Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Bayern Munich, you have to say Man United, Man City. I think um, Liverpool is still a big attraction, even for the big players. Champions League or not Champions League. And does it look exciting going into next season with the likes of you know, Salah and then all the uh, newer recruits being fully fit, such as Gakpo and Jota? And... Yeah, I think they have to strengthen. I think... Um, they need strengthening in midfield. I think that was um, pretty obvious throughout the way the season panned out for them. Um, but I think when you look from the goalkeepers, the defence, they've got goals in the team. So I think you get that midfield sorted out and they'll be challenging for the, the, the big trophies again next year. Obviously, Bellingham was moved. But... I never thought Bellingham would join because the very biggest clubs would be after him and I don't think Liverpool are prepared to go that extra mile to buy the, the really expensive players. But they've had... A, with a few exceptions, but no one gets them all right. I mean, the, the, their recruitment's been fabulous over the last what, seven, eight years. So hopefully they can have another good summer this year.